From DocuSign, I'm Mei Shea, a member of the Developer Center team. In this screencast, I'll walk through installing and running the PHP Quick Start on Windows and the embedded signing code example. The prerequisite to this video is an unzipped Quick Start zip file. If you haven't yet downloaded your PHP Quick Start, please first follow the steps in the Quick Start Overview page or the How to Download Quick Start video. Quick Start is a software wizard that packages a personalized code example launcher. You can choose from eight programming languages. The Quick Start wizard configures an app in the developer's DocuSign account that can make API calls. These steps are completed for the developer. The launcher is downloaded from GitHub. An integration key is created in the developer's account. A secret key is created to enable authorization code grant. An RSA key pair is created to enable JWT grant. Redirection URLs are added, and the configuration file is modified with the developer's personalized information. To run the PHP Quick Start Launcher, I must have the PHP prerequisite software installed. This list of prerequisites can be found in the README on our GitHub page at github.com docusign code examples PHP. This README is also included in the Quick Start zip file. The README has a description of all the API code examples with their source links to GitHub. I'll scroll to the installation prerequisites section. It says, note, if you downloaded this code using Quick Start from the DocuSign Developer Center, skip items one and two below as they're automatically created for you. The PHP prerequisites are steps three and four because Quick Start takes care of step five by pre-populating my developer account information, which I'll show later. In order to install and run the PHP launcher, I'll need PHP version 7.2 or later. Note that PHP version 7.2 or later is included with the Champ download if you're using the Apache web server. I'll also need Composer setup in my path environment variable so I can invoke it from any folder. I can follow the links to download the applications. Since I'm using the Champ Apache web server, I'll scroll to the Champ Apache web server instructions in the README. In the first sentence, there's a link to download Champ. Next, it says, one, unzip the PHP quick start file or download or clone the code examples PHP repository into your CSHAMP htdocs folder. The quick start automatically downloads into my downloads folder. I'll unzip my quick start zip file into my CSHAMP htdocs folder. I'm in my unzipped quick start folder, CSHAMP htdocs tally customer portal dash PHP. Note that the quick start wizard appends a dash and the code language on the end of my quick start folder name. Also, since I'm using the Apache web server, there can't be any spaces in my PHP quick start folder name. If there are spaces, the PHP launcher won't run on the Apache web server. I can easily replace spaces in my quick start folder name with underscores. Quick start enables developers to quickly run DocuSign code examples by configuring a launcher with the developer's account information. For the PHP quick start, this configuration file is located in the top level of my quick start folder and is named dsconfigphp. Aside from my email address and name, my unique client ID, client secret, and impersonated user ID are also displayed in the configuration file. In my DocuSign developer account, the client ID is called the integration key. Client ID is the standard OAuth term, integration key is a DocuSign term. Since it contains personal information, please don't store this dsconfig PHP file in your source control. I can also view and modify the source files in the quick start folder and see my changes when running that code example. The PHP Quick Start Launcher will directly open the Embedded Signing Code Example page, which I'll show later. Here's the code for embedded signing in the source folder. The file name is eg001 embedded signing PHP. I'll change the name of the DocuSign document from example document to hello world. This name will be shown when the document is presented in the browser. I use Control S to save my changes. Two, switch to your quick start folder, CDC Champ HTDocs quick start folder name or CDC Champ HTDocs code examples PHP. I'll use git bash to navigate to my unzipped quick start folder, tally underscore customer underscore portal dash PHP. Three, run composer install to install the dependencies listed in the composer JSON file. Since I have composer set up in my path environment variable, I can call composer from any folder. I run composer install. All the dependencies have been installed. 4. Run Champ as administrator. On the Champ control panel to the left of Apache, select the red X to install Apache web server. First, I'll ensure I don't have another web server running on port 8080. Then I'll run Champ as administrator. On the Champ control panel to the left of Apache, I'll select the red X to install Apache web server. The dialog box says click yes to install the Apache service. I'll select yes. The red X becomes a green checkmark. 
Five, on the Champ control panel to the right of Apache, select the config button, then Apache httpd.conf. The httpd.conf file opens in Notepad. Six, in the httpd.conf file, change the default listen80 to listen8080. I've already commented out the default listen80 and added listen8080. Seven, in the httpd.conf file, change the default server name localhost80 to server name localhost8080. I've already commented out the default server name localhost80 and added server name localhost8080. Eight, in the httpd.conf file, change the default document root cshamp htdocs directory cshamp htdocs to document root cshamp htdocs quick start folder name dash php directory cshamp htdocs quick start folder name dash php. I will copy and paste my quick start folder name, ensuring there are no spaces. I use control S to save my changes. Nine, on the shamp control panel to the right of Apache, select the start button. Apache runs. 10. Open a browser to http localhost8080 slash public. I see the consent window from the application tally customer portal. In the authorization code grant flow, the application obtains consent from the individual user to perform actions on their behalf, then receives an authorization code that can be exchanged for an access token which is required to make API calls. Once the user has granted consent to an application, they will not be prompted again unless consent is revoked. I click accept. Next, I see the embedded signing code example. All quick starts are pre-configured to run this code example. Embedded signing demonstrates how to collect signatures directly within my app without emailing the signer. Also linked are the API methods used, envelopes create and envelope views create recipient. The links will take me to the developer center pages that describe those methods. The link to the source file will show me the code for embedded signing in GitHub. Now the signer email and name have been pre-populated with my developer account information. I can change the signer email and name. I click submit to send the envelope. I'm taken directly to the document. Now I scroll to the bottom of the document and see that the document name is no longer example document but has been changed to hello world per my modification. I'm going to sign the document and click finish. I'm taken to the signing complete page. I click continue. Now I see the PHP launcher homepage with all the code examples. I can run the other code examples as well. All these code examples are also available in the other Quick Start launchers, Bash, c -sharp, Java, Node.js, PowerShell, Python, and Ruby. If you have any questions about how to develop your integration with DocuSign, here are some resources. I recommend checking out the Developer Center how-to guides, going to Stack Overflow, reaching out to support, or signing up for API office hours. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Please send questions and comments to developers at DocuSign.com.